Hi, I'm Michael Caber with Kaser Compressors. We're here at our Fredericksburg, Virginia facility, putting, putting the finishing touches on one of our custom engineered solutions. In this case, uh, this system is going to be for one of our Sigma Air Utilities, which is compressed air as a service. Uh, in some cases, we put those, we install those directly in, in the customer's plant. In this case, we're doing a, uh, uh, an enclosure, an outdoor enclosure that will have the entire compressed air system that the customer can just put on site next to their building. Saves a lot on uh, construction and also um, in, time, in time to get the system up and running. So we're going to go inside and take a look uh, at this system and give you a little, uh, a little tour. The first thing I want to point out is that um, the entire system comes pre-piped and pre-wired. So you see here a large electrical panel um, and all the, uh, the main uh, voltage for the, the compressors in the system comes from a, a service disconnect that's on the outside of the package. And then all of the uh, power is then distributed throughout the inside of the enclosure to the different machines. This particular system has three DSD-175T models, which are 175 horsepower compressors with built-in refrigerated dryers. Um, this also has all the interconnecting piping as well as filtration and condensate management. All, all three uh, compressors and dryers are controlled by our Sigma Air Manager 4.0. And what I'm gonna point out some other features as we look around. So first thing I'll do is I'll point out the ducting we use for we have thermostatically controlled recirculating ducts so that we manage the temperature inside the enclosure for optimal operating conditions for the compressors. The other thing I'll point out is that we have, um, in addition to the overhead ducting, uh, we have large thermostatically controlled louvers that will um, uh, bring in fresh air, cooling air for the compressors, and um, th those will modulate based on the internal temperature of the, of the enclosure. So, um, this unit is going into uh, an area that gets cold in the winter, so this also has some internal heaters, uh, wall-mounted heaters, so that we don't go below the minimum operating temperature uh, before the so that the machines don't get too cold before they turn on. The, um, there are also thermostatically controlled fans up above um, that help with the, uh, the ventilation so everything stays cool enough to uh, operate and, and uh, be reliable long term. So I'm going to walk down here. So we have the, the three compressors of the same size, uh, but as you can see, because if you come over here, you can see some of the piping, how the filtration is integrated. We're using our Smart Pipe XL um, aluminum piping system uh, to distribute the the, uh, the air inside, uh, which will then go out through a discharge in the uh, at the end of the enclosure and go into the plant. Down at this end of the package, uh, you'll see our uh, Kaser condensate filters, which are the, um, uh, which receive all the, the condensate from the built-in dryers and the compressors, as well as the filters um, on each one with the, with the echo drains. So that is all plumbed into uh, the manifold and then gets all the condensate here where it's uh, disposed of in an environmentally friendly way. Uh, you can also just see, I mentioned before, the, uh, the space heaters. This is one of several in this package, what you can see it here very nicely. A um, couple other things just wanted to point out. Just um, all the con you know, conduit for the wiring, plentiful lighting, so there's good uh, uh, lighting for service when that occurs. Um, and just you can see the, um, just the, how clean and neat the whole package is designed. I mentioned before the Sigma Air Manager 4.0. This is the brain that not only runs all the compressors, optimizes them for the application, minimizes starts, maximizes energy efficiency, but also is the conduit through which we remotely monitor this whole thing from Fredericksburg. So this, this system is gonna be out in, in Ohio, but we will remotely monitor this all the time so that we know when to dispatch service, whether it's for troubleshooting or for um, uh, routine maintenance. So 
the, uh, the Sigma Air Manager is a great uh, way for us to monitor what's going on uh, in any compressed air system, but we do it on every Sigma Air utility.